Okay, so outside of being an artist, um, I've been almost exclusively in the Pacific Northwest throughout my life, other than a short stint in LA. And I think that influence comes out in my art. Um, one of my, my happy places is the mountain, uh, and that shows up in some of my imagery. There's also a bit of a dark sensibility in my work, um, less so maybe with the cyanotypes because of the, the blue seems more bright, but um, throughout my work, there's definitely a dark piece too that I think comes from being in the Pacific Northwest in our gray days. So I have been creating something or other since childhood. Um, my grandmother was really artistic and encouraged me to experiment. Uh, but it was really my first photography class in high school uh, that let me know that I'd be heading down this current path of art. Uh, not even. I've only been doing cyanotypes uh, as well as glass, both for about a year and a half. Prior to that, I was a commercial photographer and really just needed a change of pace and had always wanted to try cyanotypes and glass and, and it, it just all sort of came together at the same time. Okay, so I will chat a bit about the cyanotype process briefly, just in case people don't know about it and then kind of go into how I use it. So cyanotype was the original blueprint process used for architecture. And now it's been adopted mostly by fine artists. And the process involves brushing cyanotype chemistry onto a surface, um, sometimes that's paper, but other media can work. Um, you can actually put it on glass or other things. And then you expose it like traditional darkroom paper, except that instead of using an enlarger, you lay a digital negative onto the surface and expose it with either sunlight or a UV lamp. And uh, where my work is different from some other cyanotype artists is a lot of them will coat the entire paper. And so the effect that you get is very much kind of like traditional darkroom photography work. Um, you see all of the, the negative, um, you see all parts of that. And, and what, what I try to do is to actually look for, uh, curves or or just shapes within the digital negative and create my brush strokes to complement or mirror those uh, shapes and so ultimately my work ends up with part of it being blank and so it it kind of builds off of the original image and creates something entirely different I am not actually. Um, sometimes I will uh, layer the digital negatives. And when I first started, I actually did that physically, which sometimes I still like doing because a physicality of, of doing it that way and, and just kind of experimenting that is a little bit different. But if I really know what I want to do, what I want to create by layering, quite often I'll just do it in Photoshop. Um, I would say that a lot of them are inspired by, by city living, by um, urban images. So there's a lot of times I've shot graffiti, which actually was something I shot just for fun for, you know, for years as kind of a, side project to doing commercial work. And I also have always really liked architecture. So architectural elements is one thing. So what I'll do is, is go and capture images I like, and then, you know, come back and, and think, you know, how is it, how could this work in a cyanotype? So um, that's 
that's probably my the biggest way that inspiration happens. Um, so because of the of the process of how I find my inspiration, changes in direction are often kind of organic, but one of the things that I am doing right now is putting my designs on other media. So I currently have put cyanotypes on uh, yoga leggings, greeting cards, accessories, and other things. Um, and I just recently started playing with creating transparencies of cyanotypes and insetting them into resin to create everyday art like coasters. One of the other directions that I'm going is uniting my cyanotypes with glass, since they all both kind of happened. Um, started working with both of them at the same time. I ended up actually taking my first glass using class at Bullseye in Portland one day after my first cyanotype class. And I actually used cyanotypes from the one class to um, print onto glass and then fuse it together. So um, that's a direction that I want to go. I will be going almost certainly to Pilchuck uh, hopefully this year, if the pandemic doesn't stop me, but mm -hmm. I was accepted last year and um, everything got canceled. My site, which is karinjohansenart.com, and then also my Instagram account, which is um, Karin Johansson Art, and the spelling on that is K-A-R-E-N-J-O-H. A-N-S-O-N-A-R-T.